service vehicles are participating in what's being called a new national campaign mm -hmm. that reminds people, drivers, to slow down and move over when you see a first responder or a maintenance crew on the side of the road. The American Towman Spirit Ride will make a stop in Memphis tomorrow. A casket is going to be pulled through the streets of Memphis to honor those who've died on the roadside. Fox 13's Lauren Coleman saw the dramatic effect of the casket in the street this evening. David Stewart is the owner of Uncle Dave's Auto Repair in Bartlett. He's been in the towing industry for more than 20 years and says responding to accidents on the side of the road can be dangerous and deadly. Our fleet of wreckers, we're the AAA contractor here in town, so we're around town on the freeways and regular city streets all the time. And it is amazing the number of people that just will not slow down or move over to give us the proper room to work to retrieve a vehicle off the side of the freeway. That's why his company is joining 250 towing companies across the country for the American Towman Spirit Ride. The ceremonial casket will ride through the streets of Memphis on Thursday to remind drivers to move over and slow down when they see first responders and maintenance crews on the side of the road. The recent statistics show that about one wrecker or tow operator is killed every six days in the United States from a failure to slow down and move over. The move over law, which passed in 2006, requires motorists to move over into the adjacent lane of traffic or to slow down for emergency vehicles. According to the Tennessee Department of Transportation, 1,880 move over citations were handed out in 2014. Various images on the side of the casket represent different scenarios tow truck drivers may encounter while on the side of the road, emphasizing the need to move over and slow down. James Jones, the owner and operator of Visual Towing, is excited to take part in the national campaign. The towing industry needs to be more in the public eye as service people, just like fire department and police officers. Because without us, they're not clearing the highway. And Stewart says he hopes the ride will remind drivers to put the phones down and be more alert. Yeah, that was Fox 13's Lauren Coleman reporting. Now, the procession will start tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be outside Bellevue Baptist Church. A ceremony will take place first to honor emergency responders who've lost their lives on the roadside. The casket will then make its way to Covington. That will happen on Friday.